Hello YouTube, so today I will be doing a review on a fighting game for the PlayStation 2 based on the Hokuto no Ken or Fist of the North Star series. So this game is based on the anime and manga series called Hokuto no Ken that most of you should already be familiar with since it's pretty famous. But for those of you who aren't familiar with it, this series is about a character called Kenshiro who goes on a quest to find his fiancée, Yuria, in the Mad Max type world. Other than the training mode, survival mode, and arcade mode that are usually available in other fighting games, this game has a mode called History which is almost like a story mode. You get to read all of the story from the first season of the series and fight the enemies in that order. You can also skip to any part of the story you would like to see. By fighting and winning or losing, you will unlock more story and skills related to the series. Also during the battle, you can see some special interactions between the characters based on the source material. The story of the game is based directly on the original source and no new story has been added. So even if you aren't familiar with the anime or manga, you get into the story pretty easily. The most important aspect of a fighting game is the gameplay. And the gameplay is pretty similar to Guilty Gear in some aspects since this game is also developed by Arc System Works. So for the basics, you have strong punch, strong kick, weak punch, weak kick, and one boost button. All the characters except one can double jump. They has a special triple jump. And as in many of the other fighting games, you can dash and backstep by inputting forward or back two times quickly. The boost button I mentioned earlier is a homing movement. There are moves you can use as a combo by using the boost button since it allows you to cancel an attack. Also, every character except for Heart can do a grave shoot, which is an attack that puts the opponent in the air. Depending on the direction pushed after this move, you can chain it into a combo. Other mechanics include things like guard cancel, aura guard, heavy strike, which is an attack that you cannot block, and so on. A mechanic completely exclusive and very fitting to this title is the 7 stars gauge. This bar has 7 stars that will be lit up when a round starts, but as you get hit by certain types of moves, the stars will disappear. When the player loses all of the 7 stars, a death star will light up. This allows the opponent to perform a one hit KO move, much like the instant kill moves in Guilty Gear. If the one hit KO move doesn't land, then you will recover one of the 7 stars. You need to do at least 3 combos to deplete all of the 7 stars and change it into a death star. Since there are rules in the game like you cannot take away more than 1 star with the same attack in one combo and so on, but there are exceptions with some of the characters that will allow them to take away up to 4 stars in one combo. By using all of these mechanics that I've mentioned, you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff but this game requires a lot of practice to get into. It doesn't feel as easy as newer games such as Under Night Inbirth or Chaos Code, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun and you can do a lot of crazy stuff. As for the characters, there are 10 playable characters in the game.
I'm sure that if you're familiar with the series, you'll know all of the characters, since all of these characters are only from the first season of the series. Kenshiro, the main character, has a special move that when it lands, gives the opponent 3 in-game seconds for 20 seconds in real time, and after the timer counts down to 0, the opponent gets KO'd. This move, although seems powerful, is very hard to use, since to start off with, it uses too much resource and it's very hard to land. You also get characters like Rao, who seem to be more for advanced players since he cannot backstep, his damage output is pretty high, and can do lots of combos. Another stepbrother of Kenshiro that's in the game is Toki, who is pretty popular in the tournaments. And also the least loved stepbrother of them all, Yagi, is in the game too. He plays pretty differently from other characters. He's a tricky character to use. Also, you have characters like Shin, who is the rival of Kenshiro. And also they. Yuda. Bowser Mr. Hart Mamiya, who is the only woman in the game and I felt like she was the easiest to use if you aren't familiar with all of the mechanics also, there are different cutscenes depending on the characters you encounter and you use. It's also interesting to look at all of those. Comparing the PlayStation 2 to the arcade version, I think that the arcade version is a bit better in my opinion. There are several bugs in the PlayStation 2 version that can be pretty much game-breaking if you use Yuda in the arcade version. This is because the hitbox for a special move of this character is different, although not intended to be different. I do not know if this is a bug or a glitch, but it is known that the hitbox for this super is moved one step forward. Other than that, some voiceovers have been changed and overall quality of the voices are much lower in the PlayStation 2 version. Also in the options menu, you can listen to all of the voices of the different characters and the background music of the game. It's kind of great if you want to listen to some manly screams. So in conclusion, I thought that the game was pretty good considering that it's not a new game. Although it could have been a little bit more simplified or easier to do combos, uh, I like taking a look at older fighting games because nowadays uh, I feel like they simplify almost everything. You can do one button combos which is not a bad thing, but I think that it's worth taking a look at the more harder or more hardcore fighting games that are from the older system. And also, I played this one on the arcades too when I went to Japan. Although there was only like one or two machines running the game, um, there was always someone playing it. So yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching. As always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs>